Well, are you going to introduce me to your friend? Oh, sorry, Dennis. Uh, Dennis Quinn, my mother. Nice to meet you, Dennis. Hello, Mrs. Jackson. I mean, Mrs. Morris. Well, how about a coffee? Or a drink? Oh, coffee, yeah. Yeah. What'll we do? Well, let's go out to dinner, eh? Hey, that'd be terrific, Mrs. Morris. What do you reckon, Marty? Make a change from the galley food, eh? Gee, mate, you're a bit of a tear away at seven. Yeah. But a lot of years have passed since then. And I don't think Mum's caught up with them yet. Oh, of course I have. But we all like to reminisce. What about your family, Dennis? Well, I don't talk about my family, Mrs. Morris. That's because you've got nothing interesting to say, have you, mate? Marty, that's awful. I'm sure it's not true. No, Marty's right. Not very good at conversation. I bore people. Well, I'm not bored. I'm very interested in hearing about your family. I think I'll leave you to it. I'll probably be getting back. Marty, we're in the middle of dinner. Well, I don't yet, mate. I've got some things to do, Dan. Better get on to them. But this is our first night together. Well, you too enjoy your dinner. I'll see you tomorrow, mate. I bet there are at least a half a dozen girls just waiting for you to call. Girls? Well, not very good with girls. I never know what to say, and they always end up laughing at me. Hello? Who is this? Something wrong, Mrs. Morris? That was one of those anonymous callers. Oh, shouldn't we call the police or something? Oh, there's nothing they can do. It happens all the time. Oh, it's just that I've been lucky up until now. Look, if it'll make you feel any better, I can bunk on the couch tonight in case he rings oh, back. No, no, no. I'll be, I'll be fine, really. I'm just a bit tired. Oh, yeah, well, I'd better be going. You sure you're all right? Yes, yes, I'll be fine. Good night, Mrs. Morris. Good night. Well, I only freaked when Dennis told me about it. You know he's going to ring back. I mean, they usually get a number and stick with it. Well, I'll just have to hang up again, won't I? Yeah, well, we've got a better idea than that, Mum. Here. What on earth am I supposed to do with this? Just blow into the phone with it. <whistles> Makes a hell of a noise. Well, if that doesn't discourage him, nothing will. Thank you both very much. Uh, I just hope I don't have to use it. We didn't have to rush around just for this. Yeah, well, we didn't. Uh, look, Mum, you, you need a man around the house. Better still, a couple of sailors. Oh, look, those tiles in the bathroom need fixing. And the kitchen cupboard here, it's almost off its hinges. And that's just for starters. Well, that's very sweet of you, but I have to go to work. Oh, well, all right. We'll manage it. Yes, I'm sure you will. Well, when you finish, how about joining me for lunch? I'm on a split shift, so I'll have plenty of time. Oh, great. Right. Who's going to clear up this mess? I'll do that. Thanks, Dennis. You know, the way he went on about you to me this morning, I reckon he's got a crush on you. Just because I was nice to him. Oh, don't be silly. The thought never entered your mind. No, it did not. And I'm sure it didn't enter his either. Now, will you leave me alone while I get ready for work? And, and Marty had to go back to the ship. Well, he didn't say a thing about it this morning. Well, he didn't know then. It was a last minute thing. Oh, I suppose it can't be helped. Oh, no, this way. I hired a car. You hired a car? Well, but Dennis, I have a car. I know, but Marty and I wanted to take you somewhere special. It was a surprise. Well, well, it's very sweet of but you. When we both went on duty, I, I was stuck with the car, and so, well, I thought we'd go anyway. It's a picnic. All right. <laughs> so when she finally did notice me and asked me my name, I couldn't remember. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you can laugh about it. I have to. It happens to me often. I guess it must be because they're so, I don't know, Young, maybe. I don't feel like that with you. Oh, I don't know whether to take that as a compliment or not. No, no, what I meant was I can be myself with you and it doesn't matter. You make me feel special. Well, you are special, Dennis. 
I mean, for one thing, you're Marty's friend, and I think any mother would feel maternal towards a son's friend. No, but you're more than Marty's mum to me, Mrs. Morris. You're the only woman who's ever taken the time to listen to me. Now, look, Dennis, I know you probably won't believe this, but you will meet a nice girl one day. No, I've tried. It never works. But it will. Trust me. Yeah, I guess you're right. I just wanted to thank you. It's all right. Oh, come on. We better get moving. Got lots to do before I go back to work. Still friends. Yes, Dennis. Still friends. Hello. It's me. I haven't got anything on. Why don't you take off? Mrs. Morris, Dennis. Oh, sorry, Dennis, I'm coming. Oh, that's all right. I forgot my car keys. Oh, are those them? Uh, yeah. Marty reckons I'd forget my head if it wasn't screwed on. You okay, Mrs. Morris? Look a bit pale. Well, I, I am a bit shaky. That anonymous caller phoned again. What, just now? Couldn't have timed it better if he tried. You sure you're all right? Yes, 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 I'm fine. I, I remembered to use the whistle. I think I may have burst his eardrums. Well, it serves him right. Look, maybe you should call the police. No, 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 there's no need for that. I'll, I'll ring Telecom in the morning and inquire about an unlisted number. But uh, right now, I must go to work and I'm holding both of you oh, up. I wasn't going to be doing anything anyway. Look, maybe I can meet you after work and see you home. At least make sure nothing else can happen. Oh, no, Dennis, Dennis, I wouldn't dream of it. You mean you don't need my help? No, it's not that. For heaven's sake, Dennis, I'm working till midnight. I don't want you and Marty hanging around till then. I wouldn't mind. Look, I've told you I want to help. You're such a lovely lady. I can't understand anyone who'd want to frighten you. Oh, well, I don't think he meant it personally. I mean, I'm just a phone number. Well, I wish I could help. Close, mate. Oh, a spunky chicken sight. Must all come out after six. Yeah. Look, have you spoken to your mum since you left this morning? Yeah, called her at work. How is she? Oh, she's all right now. Well, more or less. <laughs> Just a bit shaken. Yeah, I bet she is. I mean, she must have been terrified. You can't leave her alone tonight. Yeah, in fact, I think I might have to spend the rest of my leave over there. Well, not all of it. I can help. Well, you mean that? Yeah, why not? She's been pretty good to me. Oh, that'd be great. I mean, I'm worried about Mum and everything, but uh, there are only a few nights left, and I don't want to spend them all over there, if you know what I mean. Sure. But why don't I stay with her this evening? Well, are you sure you don't mind? No, you can come around later and spend the rest of the night. I sort of do it in shifts, all right? Hey, terrific. Hey, but like right now, I'd like to spend some time with something young and horny. Come on, let's go have a look somewhere else. Hi. What on earth are you two doing? Well, we thought we'd surprise you, you know, go home with a good night, stay for a while. Like, uh, all night? Oh, now, don't be silly. I mean, thank you. I wouldn't dream of letting you spend your leave babysitting me. It's no bother, Mrs. Holmes. Oh, really, I do appreciate it, but I just want you to go out and enjoy yourselves. 
Look, and besides, I'm in very good hands. Mrs. Bow's going to spend tonight. Oh, hi, Mrs. Bow. Hi. Well, look, it's honestly no trouble. Yeah, it might be better to have a man around, you know, make sure nothing else happens. There will be a policeman outside the front door all night. Are you sure? Yes. Now stop worrying and go out and join yourselves. I'll be all right. Okay. See you later. You were as rotten the way you took off and left us yesterday. I thought we was going to spend the night together. Yeah, well, we're here now. And we don't have any plans for the night, do we, mate? I suppose not. That's good. Because i got a few of my own. Me too. Look, I don't know. What about your mother? She'll be expecting us. <gasps> Mother! <laughs> We're not crazy, <laughs> Robin, are we? Do you have to look up to Mummy before you go out? No, of course not. As a matter of fact, I was thinking we might spend a little time together in your place for a while. Just what I had in mind, you see. Just the two of us, that is. Oh, well, that's nice. Looks like we've been kicked out into the cold. So you'll just have to come back to my place. Time's not looking after you, Dad. Meet you back here later. What's the matter? Nothing. Don't you like me? Of course I do. You're very nice. <gasps> Don't get called that too often. Come on. Look, um, maybe I'd better go. Oh, no, don't do that. Look, we could have a lot of fun together if you'd just let yourself relax. I thought you said you liked me. Yes, I do. It's just that I've never... Oh, no, don't tell me. You're not gay, are you, or anything like that? Oh, hell, come off it. Well, then why don't you want... Oh, boy, don't tell me. Well, this is better than winning the lottery. You're a virgin, right? I thought so. Well, don't worry, baby. Nothing to worry about. Trust Mummy. Well, it means I'll just have to teach you as we go along, and that's all. I promise you, you'll enjoy the lesson. Now, why don't you take off all your gear and hop into bed? Come on, huh? Trust Mummy. All right. Good. You won't regret it. Hey, what are you doing? It's putting it all on tape. We can lie back later and listen to it. Hey? I always do. It's a real turn on, believe me. Come to Mummy. And you just do everything she tells you because she's going to make you feel real good. Who is it? Who's there? It's me, Dennis. Are you all right? Oh, thank God, Dennis. It's you. What's the matter? You sound a bit upset. I just had another one of those horrible phone calls. Dennis, he's done something terrible to some poor girl. I mean, she was screaming, screaming. Are you all right now? I'm so sorry to sound so hysterical. It was just, just frightened the life out of me. I'm sure it did. She was screaming something like, come to me, mummy, or something like that. I can't quite remember. Come to mummy, my baby. You just do what she tells you and she's going to make you feel real good. She did too. Real good. I wouldn't if I was you. Anyway, I've locked it. No, Dennis. No. You know what I'm going to do to you, don't you, Mummy? I told you on the phone. You can start taking your clothes off now, Mummy. I think you've wasted enough time, don't you? VK6 to car 16. VK6 to car 16. Come in, 16. VK6 to car 16.
VK6 to car 16. Come in 16. VK6 to car 16. VK6 to car 16. Come in 16. Slut clothes and going out with those men. And leaving me with. No. No more. Those men don't need you. I do. Innes, I am not your mother. I mean, you're confused. I am not your mother. Shut up! Mo shut up! I know that. My mother was beautiful. She wouldn't lead men on like you do. She wouldn't act like a whore. Don't touch it! Yes, please. You're only making things worse for yourself. The police are watching this house. There's a man outside. Summer. It's a yellow car. He's wearing a grey suit. Grey and red. I know you had to leave me to go to work. I didn't mind that. I mean, Dad left us, so somebody had to look after us. I didn't mind. I really didn't mind. Then why are you doing this to me, Dennis? I worked very hard for you and your sister. You worked very hard so you could dress up like a whore and go out with men. I had to go out. I had to have some time. What the to hell are you talking about? Stop saying you're my mother. You're not. Dennis, please let me find for help. You need help. No! Oh, oh gee, Mum, I'm sorry. It's broken. I'll try and fix it for you. I have just about had enough of you, Dennis. But I said I was sorry. Come on. Hand over that knife. I don't want you hurting yourself. Come on. Please! Come on. Come on, fella, let's have you. You're all right, Mr. Bryant. Come on, take him out. I wouldn't have you as a mother. Dear you dear. filthy lying whore! Get out of here, you bastard! Get out of here! 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 Get out